Let's talk about tips and tricks for NetSuite's home page and dashboard. So this is the NetSuite home page, or it is as of the date we were making it, and you can see at the top that it has the company logo and the global search bar where you can search all transactions, records, and lists in NetSuite. On the upper right are the roles. It shows us who we are, the role that we're in, including the company. So it's important because one person can have multiple roles. You may be an AR manager and you can be an AP manager. You may be given multiple roles and that's why it's important to remember to look up there to say what sign-on role are we in. We can switch roles depending on our needs and we can switch from an administrator to an executive like in this example. You see here by clicking the downward pointing arrow that you can see the multiple roles that you can switch to and select that role. On the navigation bar, we can navigate anywhere in NetSuite from it. We can go to payment, to transactions, to lists, to reports, and the setup. The navigation bar changes depending on what role we're in. The items where we do not have permissions will not appear in the navigation bar. Here are some special buttons at the top that you can see. There is one for recent records. There are shortcuts, which is a star. The house is home so that you can quickly get to where you need to without having to go through multiple clicks. Next is the dashboard. This is the dashboard in the middle it is completely customizable. We can add whatever graphs, searches, or views we want into the dashboard. Remember the dashboard can be different depending on what role we have. So depending on the permissions and the roles, the type of information that you can see will vary. Here's a different dashboard this is for the senior executive, and so you can see depending on the role, you can customize the dashboard to show what it is that you're looking to see. Next, on the home page, you will see settings. Now, settings can be placed anywhere on the dashboard, but they cannot be removed. Settings allows us to personalize our dashboard or set up preferences. It's also where we can update our security questions or change our email and our password. 